Hi. Trading a non-farm payroll today. It's going to be an odd one. Roll the intro. Tell you all about it. Hi. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers. I am the Scruffy Trader. What I'm trying to do is kind of put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. So if that sounds good, please click the little subscribe button. It genuinely helps and motivates me to do more. And if you've got a question, by all means drop it in the comments below because I answer every single one of them. So what are we doing? Well, it's November the 6th, non-farm payroll day. So as with most non-farm payrolls, it's going to be a wild, unpredictable day. So the way you get through it is very simple. Lots of coffee. Because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. And patience. Because on the run-up to the event, it's very easy to jump yourself in the markets. But what if you get caught and you can't get out your position before the announcement's made. You're at the mercy of the markets. And as you'll probably see this afternoon when I trade this, it can go either way. Nobody knows till the, the announcement's made. The markets will spike up, they'll spike down, they'll go sideways. It, it's a right merry-go-round. But it's only for about an hour. And then the market settle themselves down and carry on on that normal journey. Now with the US elections, it's going to be an odd one today. And I really can't gauge it at this moment in time. So I'm literally going to be just talking to the guys in the groups that I'm a member of. They are my toys. Because you've got to have your toys. And just keep an eye on what's going on. But when the event happens, I'll be looking to box the price in as I always do. And then I'll be looking for retracements and continuations. And that's all I do on a non-farm payroll day. It's quite a strange day. And it's a lot different to how I normally trade. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do it in one shot for you. And you'll see it from start to finish. And can't be any fairer than that and wish me luck but in the meantime I'm just going to clear my toys and I'll come back to you when it starts <laughs> Okay, so we're on with the non-farm payroll trade. It is risk-free at this point, and it has decent profit in it. Just waiting to see how far this will push down. I'm hoping it will get to around, there we go. That's the first part of this over. Quite happy with that. So, what I now need to do is adjust these so we can see where it's going. Fib on here. My order. Is it where? I'm ready to rock. Two minutes left to the candle, so I'll let that run out. Push down below the 38.
what I'm waiting for is I want to see it come down to this area. So the price has to come into me, but give me a decent range to catch. If it doesn't, I'll stay out like what I'm doing at the moment. But because the markets are moving very quick, you just kind of have your order sitting waiting and I can easily flick it over to a sell if I need to sell it. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I box the price in. It's found its top, it's found its bottom. I'm now going to trade between these two ranges based on the levels that you see. However, at the moment, it's too hard to make a decision because this is real world trading, guys. You know, I ain't rolling back a trading view three months. This is now. You know, 6th of November, non-farm payroll day. Watched it creep up, seen it slam down. And here it's creeping down again. And that's what I want. I want it under here. If it doesn't break this level, there's no point trading it because the gap is too, too close. I want a little bit of momentum. And... This is what we need to see. Okay, and at the moment we're not seeing any. So you wait. Simple as that. You wait. Now it's up to the 50%. Now there is another train of thought. You can put an order there, click it onto a cell, and go the opposite direction. So the same principle applies. If it comes up into here. I'll be looking to switch it around, but it's all based on this. But at the moment, it's in this zone here, and I want to kind of see a shift in sentiment. And at the moment, I can't see anything. Uh, so I sit tight. I wait. Okay. Right. There's your shift now. See the long tail, it's pulling away, pushing down, so if I move that order to under there to get to here, which is the next level, that was a quick 75, but as you can see, it's, it's pushing away again, and it's kind of what I'm trying to tell you guys, it, it, it's, it's not giving me enough meat on the bones, you know, I either want to see the price in here, with a reversal so I can get it down to here gives me some money to play with or the opposite way down here pulling back up because it's going to bounce between these two levels reason why I know that because it has been doing it right there and it's kind of done it before uh, but it's very very quiet come on you go. That's only six ticks. If I think it's going to slam in, maybe. But is it worth 60 quid? No, not really. Because it could easily rip and shoot up to there, which will be worth a lot more than 60 quid. So I want to see some kind of confirmation. And I'd like to see it push up. And it's not. Right. I'll put a deal ticket in. Because I'm watching it on this screen as well. And there's a high probability it's going to come here. Uh... Reason being, it is pushing down quite hard, and I think it's going to slam. Hopefully, it will. Uh, if it does, this will be over pretty quick. Some money banked, and it's worth doing it for a hundred quid. Would I like to do it for anything more? Of course, I would, but we shall see. But what I'm going to do because I'm not at full position, I'm not even close to it. Started it a single position, 
if it breaks this, I'm going to average in. If it breaks that, I'm going to average in right the way down. But I think this is the area where it's going to come to initially. Uh, but when I average in, it won't be for, for very much. Stops are up here, by the way, guys. But I don't want to use them if I can help it. Come on, down we go. Just testing on the 50%. Just while this is having a, a little look, I'll tell you why you average in or why I, I'm going to average in. You see, if I get it wrong, my stop is still the same place. So this is cheaper than that one. And if I come here, it's cheaper than that one again because the stop is the same. But if I went full position at the start, I'm at the mercy of the market. At least this way, I'm kind of dipping my toe in and I'm getting better prices as the market moves against me within a single position. And I know it sounds a bit odd when you're saying a single position and you have broken orders up. All it means is I can go 25 pound a point so I can essentially have five five pound positions and all I need to do is stage in bear with me a sec um, if I stage the orders in it just means that I'm reducing risk on the last set of orders but I'm also giving it an opportunity to pay me a bit extra pips. Ah, it's missed the order. It's, come, it's left me behind. Right, let's so just cancel that till that gets back above it. But as you can see, so if I'd caught that, that would have paid me from there to there. And then extra from there to there. Okay. but it's called negative averaging is what that is. You have positive averaging and negative averaging. Positive averaging is where the price is going in your favor and you're just adding to the momentum. Um, negative averaging for me is where I've set a parameter of where I want to do business. And then all I'm doing is I have stage points as to where I'm gonna enter the market. Now, if it catches me here, fine but it moves against me i'll put another one here here and here the cost of these is reducing all the time because even if i put an order in here the stock would still be there incredibly tight so if i got it wrong it's only a few quid but if i'm right it adds quite a lot to the pot but you have to have a defined set of range like this in order to do it and that's what I've done. So this is my play. That's what I'm going to do. I've got a, an order in here. So I'm going to have another one there, there, and there. So I'm going to put another three in. And we should be okay. Uh, Raising being done all right. Already had decent money out of the non-farm today. Because we catch some of this. But the trick with non-farm is not be gay, greedy. Get in, grab it, get out. Right. And if it's doing something like this and you believe it's going down, which I actually do, um, I'm prepared to average in. But because it can spike either way on non-farm payroll, I sit market neutral and I wait to see which way it can go. Like I was saying a little bit earlier on, if I can grab 10 pips going that way and then 10 pips going the other way, I will. But this is the only day I'll ever do that. And the only reason why I do it is because the market is so spiky on a non-farm payroll. Um, it's it's just that simple, guys. So let's have a look. So, right. so it's under there. Right. Get that deal in. Cool. Oh. 
pull that one out. Round it, right, okay, so that looks like it's taken me in. So the next one to stage will be up here. It's a bit nervous now, doesn't it? Right, so we're staging in again. Nipped it. And then the final one will be here. And that's assuming that I need it. Looks like it's not going to go up that far. You can see. The orders in play and what is going on. So that's 80 quid just banked at the minute, if that. This one has to be on that level there. It's another 55. And then we push it down. That's it. We're done. Simple as that. So what you've seen me do is I boxed in the price based on the drive of the non-farm payroll. And then the volatility that bounces backwards and forwards. You saw me just place orders in for them to knock out. And... Yes, I could have hold it on, and I, and I am well aware of that. But I'd rather be safe and be paid. And there you go. So non-farm has done me quite proud. So there we go. See you on the other side. There we go, guys. Another good non-farm payroll been enjoyable and I hope I kind of explained a little bit about what I was trying to achieve uh, ultimately all I was doing was boxing it in and then catching the waves between the two levels and as long as it was contained I could work it out um, would I recommend non-farm payroll for an experienced trader no not at all do what I normally do on a news event time. Stay out the markets. Um, I've done plenty of non-farm payrolls, so I know roughly what I'm looking for. And you've seen me do them in the past. But I'm always very nervous. It's a very nail-biting situation. For all I look nice and calm, um, I am paying very close attention to what's going on. And it's kind of why I have my toys and things around my desk, because I use them to calm my mind down. But I also had the advantage of former industry dealing with quite high pressure. And that helps me. It helps me chill down so much. You know, I often say, don't worry about the things you can't change. Worry about the things you can change. And that's kind of my attitude in life. You know, if it's done, I can't change it. I'm not going to worry about it. And it calms me down. So I never worry about trades that I miss or trades that go wrong that are finished. Once they're finished, they're finished. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to learn from it and apply it to the next trade. And that keeps me centered. Okay. But all in all, it's been a great day. Uh, I've enjoyed the chat with the Telegram guys and the Scruffy Squad. A little salute to every single one of you because we had a jolly time today and I hope when I was talking about the oil trade I did earlier for you guys it kind of made sense and you saw the fruits in the P&L because um, one thing that I do like to do is 
I'll tell you what the trade is before it's taken, what the makeup of that trade is, and then I'll trade it. You know, I don't do the trading view thing where it goes three months back. I really don't. I'll trade it in the moment. And I don't think I can be any fairer than that. So, got any questions, anything like that? My contact details are in the description. Very easy found. I do answer every email that comes into me, good and bad. And if you've got just a simple comment, drop it below. Generally helps the channel. So with all that, guys, have yourself a great weekend. And remember, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one. Thank you.